okay? Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to construct the quantified predicate, okay? So what this is saying is that for all, okay, so for each and every n that are members of S, so for each and every n that's an element of S, okay, we have P of n, okay, that P of n uh, has a particular value. Okay, well, P of n is a statement that's either true or false. Okay? But the thing about quantified predicates is a quantified predicate as a predicate is also either true or false because it's talking about, in this case, it's talking about something associated with this particular set, with this particular set S. Okay? Another way to write this here would be that for each and every n that's an element of S, uh, we have that n is less than is less than two because that's what p of n represents. So either way, you could write this particular quantified this particular quantified predicate. Okay? Now we're interested in the negation. We can actually see that when it comes to the evaluation of this particular when it comes to the evaluation of this particular statement, okay, this particular quantified predicate, okay, it's either true or false. So this is saying for all n that are elements of S, the p of n okay, must be true. Okay? So what we have here is, well, let's go through the values. So we have one, okay? So one is an element of S, okay? Uh, so one becomes N. Is one less than two? Well, that's true. Four, four is an element of S, okay? Uh, what about P of four? Well, P of four is four less than two is actually false. So we found an instance where this actually isn't true. And we're saying that this is true for all values. So this particular, this particular, quantified predicate is actually false, okay? So it's, it's false. Okay? Now, what we're interested in is the negation of quantified predicates. The reason why this is false is that it's not true for all, for all Ns that are elements of Ss, uh, that are elements of Ss. It's not true for four, seven, three, and nine because neither four, seven, three, or nine are less than two. So overall, the quantified predicate is false. So how do I find the negation of a quantified predicate? Okay. So the negation of a quantified predicate is constructed okay, by changing the quantifiers. So the universal uh, existence quantifier uh, changes to changes to there exists, okay, uh, and also uh, there exists changes to the universal quantifier, and also and also we negate we negate the predicate. Okay, so we negate the predicate. Okay? What do I mean by we negate the predicate? We negate P of N. Okay? So the negation of P of N, okay? so in this situation, if I was to find the negation of this particular quantified predicate, for each and every goes to there exists. So this becomes there exists an N that's an element of S such that now we negate the predicate. So instead of N less than two, we have that N is greater than or equal to two. So this was false, so its negation must be true. So we're asking now the question, does there exist an N that's an element of S uh, that allows N to be greater than or equal to two? Yes, there does. There's one there, the four is an example. Okay? Seven is an example, three is an example, and nine is an example. So in this situation here, this particular quantified predicate is now true because there does exist an N element of S for which this particular statement, this negated predicate, okay, is actually true. Okay? Now, we could rewrite this in the notation, in, in, this, in a similar notation to this. This is, for, oh, this is, there exists an N that's an element of S such that we have P of N, P of N bar, okay, the negation of P of N. That's another way to write that. P of N is just a statement that N is greater than or equal to two. Okay? So that's one example. And uh, let's have a look at another example, okay? So let's say something like there exists some N and S, okay? So let's just say something like this. Okay, let's have a look at example two. So example two, there exists some N in S, okay? So this is exists, exists some n in, X, in, in S uh, such that, okay, such that, okay, such that n to the power of, let's say, n to the power of 200, n to the power of 200 is an element of S. 
So let's write it down using our quantifiers. Okay? So there exists, so what we have here is that there exists an N and S, so N has to be